Good afternoon to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the peak day of hurricane season, September 10th, 2013. You've seen this graph before. This is the peak of the season. We are more than likely to see activity on this day of the year than any other day of the of any part of the year, uh, all 12 months of it. Uh, this is the peak, the climatological peak over the past 100 years or so. This is the day when things would be typically the most active. And lo and behold, if we look out there, it certainly comes to pass. We do have Umberto, almost a hurricane, uh, out west of the Cape Verde Islands. We have Gabrielle, which made a comeback overnight, taking advantage of a favorable environment around itself there, as limited as it may be. Nonetheless, it did do that, and now winds are up to 50 miles per hour as it closes in on Bermuda. And then we have Invest 93L, newly designated area of interest, that will probably become a tropical storm in the Bay of Campeche. And then the question will be, <clears throat> excuse me, how far north does it get? Does it bring impacts to Texas as well as Mexico over the next few days? We'll have to just wait and see. If we look at the GFS, this is the 850 millibar chart, or about 5,000 feet in the atmosphere. And this shows us the areas of spin, that vorticity that I like to look for. And this is the initial map from today's 12Z run. And uh, right there is Umberto. There's Gabrielle. And Bermuda sitting right there in the path of it. And then broad cyclonic turning right down here in association with 93L. So let's go on through the frames. I'll do them one at a time here. Try to scoot this up as far as I can. Uh, so this is the initial map, so let's go on out to 24 hours. So 24 hours out in time, there's Gabrielle passing over Bermuda. Here is Umberto, probably a hurricane at this point. Steering currents out here are just not strong enough to keep sending this westward. Kind of puzzling to me because we do have a pretty big high sitting out here, but it doesn't reach far enough south for that influence to really shove Umberto to the west, which is a good thing. But it's just puzzling to me because usually uh, you see these things travel farther to the west and then they get hooked by the central Atlantic trough and out they go. Uh, Umberto doing a little bit of an S shape as you'll see here in a moment. And then down here in the uh, Caribbean Sea area, broad low pressure trying to take shape, taking its time. Moving on out to the next time period, 48 hours. Now we see just a little bit of energy starting to show up in the Bay of Campeche. Uh, Gabrielle looking a little stronger, and it turns back to the northwest just a little bit. Maybe this will send out enough waves uh, and swell action to the east coast to provide surfers, especially North Carolina, possibly up to New Jersey, any of these east-facing beaches. You could see some increase in swell. Even a couple extra feet would probably help the surfers out a lot. And then here's Umberto sitting out here trying to figure out what it's going to do over the next few days. Moving on along to 72 hours out in time, advancing the players along. Go back one. There is, uh, that's my FTP program finishing up. There is the system trying to develop in the Bay of Campeche. There's Gabrielle still hanging around, but it's going to catch a ride on this trough. And then out it'll go across the Canadian Maritimes, it looks like. And then Umberto still sitting out here. This ridge just too far to the north. Again, it's not a large, deep layer, sprawling ridge that would shove this thing to the west. Uh, so that's why it's just kind of floated up there, if you will. But it'll eventually turn back to the west, as I'll show you, going out to 96 hours in time, advancing everything along. Notice down here, low pressure starting to develop. Pretty good signature there at 850 millibars of vorticity, spin in the atmosphere. This trough coming in. Just don't know if it's enough to erode the ridge down here substantially enough to allow this to come into Texas. Still enough time uh, out in the model field here for that to happen. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, finally, Gabrielle getting picked up and whisked away into the Canadian Maritimes. Going to be inclement weather associated with that, so pay attention to the Canadian Hurricane Center or products coming into Hurricane Pro and HD to keep you up to date on that. And then there's Umberto still sitting out there south of this monstrous ridge, but it just doesn't extend too far down into the tropics, as I've said many times already, to keep it moving west. Finally, out at day five, 120 hours out into time, 
we see our system here maybe knocking on the door of extreme south Texas uh, but that ridge nosing its way in just enough that it might keep it into northern Mexico there's enough wiggle room in here being five days out into time that you folks here in Texas are going to want to watch this certainly impacts I think for northern Mexico but if this ridge is just a little bit weaker a little bit farther to the east or this trough stays a little longer a bunch of ifs I know uh, but you know how it goes anything can happen well not anything it's somewhat in control but don't take this as gospel being five days out uh, this could be a little bit farther to the north it could be more to the south we'll have to wait and see the bottom line as it looks like another tropical cyclone developing in the Bay of Campeche and then here comes Umberto finally starting to turn westward after coming north a little bit We'll watch what happens to it. Odds are it'll never make it all the way across the Atlantic Basin. So that is it. Pretty busy today. You folks over in Bermuda are going to have to deal with Gabrielle. We'll be watching 93L down in the Caribbean and eventually the Bay of Campeche very closely and a lot to talk about over the next several days. Have yourselves a great rest of your Tuesday. I'm going to go get a glass of water, help my throat out here. It's kind of scratchy still. Really, really aggravated that this has plagued me for the last couple of weeks. I guess it's good that we haven't had anything really serious to talk about or it would just be worse. Because the more you talk on a sore throat, the worse it gets. It's just the way it is. Can't imagine being a singer and having to deal with that. Anyway, have a good rest of your Tuesday. Thanks for watching today's video. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, my site. Always a pleasure and an honor to do these videos for you on Hurricane Pro in HD. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.